Well, our tapped base pillow block bearings came in today. Plain brown wrapper. This is what they look like. At the tapped base pillow block, as opposed to the standard flanged pillow block. Let's see how much smaller of a footprint it has. Kind of just what we needed to tuck this up in the, up under the bike and so this is i believe pretty close to about how our jack shaft is going to be set up under the bike so we'll have the two pillow blocks bolted to this plate and then we'll bolt this plate through this plate, through the trailing arm, and through the motor mount to lock them all together. Shouldn't work out nicely. Alrighty. Down here under the bike, we've got our jack shaft plate clamped in place. We've got the jack shaft just held in place. Next to be we wanted about a half inch from the edge on each side. And then right all the way to the back edge. That would give us plenty of room in the middle to run a couple bolts up through it. And then we want to make sure that our shaft doesn't interfere with the brake arm here. So that will be shifted over a bit. Yeah, something like that. So we're going to want it about like that. Just about all the way up to the back edge. And then about a half inch in from each side. And then we'll still have an ample area to drop a nice bolt through here. And pry up in here. So this will be the couple inch hangover. We got our jack shaft temporarily installed. And I also temporar temporarily routed the chain. Like I said, the pull power side will go straight across the top from the sprocket to the motor, from the rear sprocket to the motor. They come down to our jack shaft and then come back on up to our rear sprocket and do it again. And I kicked the center kick, kick stand up here and it clears the jack shaft fine. I'm just not sure about the chain clearance here but very close to the tire so I would think we should be okay but that's about what I had in mind the only thing is I think we're gonna have to get another 10 tooth sprocket like this one for the jack shaft I have the 15 tooth sprocket on it right now and the chain clears it just barely so any slop whatsoever and it's going to be rubbing on that trailing arm bar. But we go from a sprocket, 15 tooth sprocket that large to a 10 tooth sprocket that large should change things dramatically. Working on getting the holes drilled in our trailing arm here. The rear ones will be about right there. And the front two will be right up in here. Well, we got the jack shaft mounted. There's the four bolts going through the trailing arm, through the jack shaft plate, and threaded right into both of our pillow blocks. 
this salad. Now I gotta get our upper plate lined up and drilled, and then we'll get our motor mounted above that. 